I have tried to make this video so many times and I hope that I can get through it this time. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah McAllister and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell from the title of this video, um, it's not going to be my typical, uh, my typical video, but it's one that I felt like I needed to make. My last upload was of me announcing my pregnancy to uh, Josh and family members. So obviously this needed to be said, but I experienced a miscarriage and um, I've never gone through anything like this before. I, uh, I'm still pretty much, uh, in shock, I guess. Like, I know that it happened. It's just hard for me to fully accept it. But I'm trying my best to heal and to move on. At first, I was just going to make a video, um, telling you guys that and leave it at that and just continue to make my usual uh, cooking and cleaning videos but I felt like I needed to share my story um, after after my experience I went on to YouTube and wanted to find videos of women who went through the same thing it just made me feel less alone it made me feel less like it was my fault so I wanted to share my story with you guys so if you're interested in that then keep watching five days before the miscarriage happened I um, was intimate with my husband and then I wiped and there was pink I called my midwife and she wasn't concerned she said that that's super common and that everything was fine I talked to family and friends about it and they all assured me that it was completely normal but for me that wasn't normal with my other three pregnancies I didn't experience bleeding of any kind until the very end so I was concerned. I was spotting for the next uh, five days. I was either wiping brown or sometimes pink but it wasn't even all the time it was just randomly on the day of the miscarriage we were sitting down watching a movie and these five days that I was spotting I just I had like the worst the worst feeling like I just I did not feel okay and people's reassurance wasn't helping me um, I just knew something was wrong like I knew it in my I knew in my heart something was wrong so I was looking at Bible verses um, to try and help me because I um, I was just trying to cling to God because I was I was mentally and physically like making myself sick with worry so I looked up verses for comfort and the one that I recited, memorized, and said over and over again was Isaiah 41.10. And that is, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Every time that I went to the restroom, or I was on my way to the restroom, I would just say this verse over and over again because I was so scared. Um, I was so scared of what I was going to see. But on the fifth day, I, um, I called my, win my midwife three times within the span of these five days. The second time I called her, I was just telling her it was still happening. The spotting was still happening and she told me it was okay and she wasn't concerned and then I called her again the day before the miscarriage happened and I told her that I needed to see the baby I needed to hear the baby's heartbeat I needed to I needed that reassurance because I wasn't okay I was 11 weeks and six days at this point and I never got to see the baby or hear the baby or hear the baby's heartbeat um, 
So she's scheduled for me to have an ultrasound early in the morning on Wednesday at 9 a.m. On Tuesday, the day before the ultrasound, I went to the restroom at around midnight and when I wiped it was it was bright red um, and I just knew I knew it was happening I knew it was gonna happen right then I just knew I, I called Josh in there and I show it to him and he's like it's okay like it's just it's not even that much like there's none in the toilet like we're okay get some rest we're going to the ultrasound tomorrow so we, we we went to bed and he fell asleep, but I could not sleep. I was so sick with worry. It was all I could think about. I was just laying in bed, reciting Isaiah 41:10, and just praying to God that everything would be okay. But I knew, like I knew it wasn't okay. I knew the baby wasn't okay. Like I knew that, but I was still clinging to something. I guess. About 30 minutes after Josh fell asleep, I had this intense lower back pain that um, I've never felt anything like that before. It, it, it hurt so bad that no matter how I was laying, it wouldn't stop hurting. And then contractions started and I literally couldn't, I I didn't know that you have contractions with a miscarriage. I know every miscarriage is different, but it literally felt like I was giving birth. It hurt so bad, and I, um, after the contraction started, I passed the baby. Um, I knew the baby was gone. It was just gone, um, and I knew. It. I knew that there was no chance that everything was okay. I just knew it. This continued for hours. Um, so at around 4 a.m., I woke up Josh and I wanted him to take me to the ER because I was in so much pain and I was losing so much blood. I thought something, that there was more to it than just a miscarriage. Like I thought that something else was wrong. Like I was like, okay, I know I lost the baby, but now I feel like there's just something else. He takes me to the ER. I told him there was, there was no way that, there was no way there was a baby still in there. We get to the ER and there's no one in there, which I was thankful for. The girl at the front desk asked, you know, what brought us in, and I couldn't even tell her. I was trying to talk, and I would just, there was a lump in my throat, and I would just start bawling my eyes out. She just turned to Josh, she's like, what's wrong? And he was like, oh, she thinks she's having a miscarriage. And she's like, okay. And then goes back to her computer, and she asked me to go behind the, the desk to get my blood pressure taken. So I go behind the desk, they all just, all the nurses just start talking about what they're going to do that night and shows on Netflix. And I'm just sitting there, I can't stop crying and I'm just bleeding, I'm in pain and they're just acting like I was nothing. So it just made it, it just made it worse. It just made the whole situation worse. Like I know that you don't know me, but it's like, how can you not have any compassion? It made it a lot more traumatic for me. Um, I just wanted to scream. I literally just wanted to scream at them, but I was trying not to. I get back to a room and I get uh, checked and she says that from the looks of it, it is a miscarriage. And then they wheel me to get an ultrasound just to make sure. That was my, that was my first ultrasound. And there was no baby in there. They told me my body completely cleaned it out and um, there was no need for a DNC. The doctor comes in and explains to me that I'm just one in four and miscarriage is very common. That was it. So I hope that you stick around. I'm still going to be making videos. I love making cooking and cleaning motivation and morning routines and I think that that's 
it's fun for me. So I'm going to definitely continue to do that. I just, um, I just needed some time, but I am, I'm healing from this and I'm going to try and move on from this. I hope that you guys have a good rest of your day.